was a high energy period, you know, it was uh, lots of things going on. So it was, it was a good challenge for me as a goalie, you know, to gr ground myself and be calm and composed and uh, just uh, be patient, you know, see the game and try to be come up with that big save. So I thought guys did a great job. Lots of block shots. The the, the will was outstanding, and uh, it's a huge win for us. What happened on that the last play? Can you could just take us through? Or not the I guess not the last play, but right before the empty net, it seemed like it kind of there was a lot of chaos right around the net there. Yeah, there was a big block by Rhino, so the puck was uh, was kind of bubbling. It hit my pad, went behind, and there is a uh, Goody. I think he he was there to uh, to support, to protect, and uh, he made a great play, and that's it. From, from down 3-1 to now 3-3 three, three, heading back to Boston to the confidence just kind of at an all-time high here for this group. It's, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't jump too high. You know, it's uh, it's it's a big win. It's, uh, it's a 0-0 zero, zero score, you know. It's uh, the next next game, next game is the biggest game. So, and uh, we have to be uh, ready, be, be humble, uh, but enjoy tonight. It's it's a huge win. It's a fun win, and it's it's a great feeling in the room for sure. You say it's a fun win. Like obviously there was a lot of goals scored. So from a goaltender's perspective, maybe a little wonky. But how much fun was that with the crowd and everything and the, the gravity of the win? Yeah, as as I said, you know, like third period was crazy, but it still was atmosphere was outstanding. You know, the fans was there to support us. They were pushing us, and we we, we feed from that energy. You know, it was it was great and it was fun. So it's it's a big win. How excited are you for a game seven now? Yeah, it's uh, it's it's you know do do or die. It's a situation. So and it's uh, I'm gonna play. Next man up. Pretty much my whole career, so um, I know how to handle it, and uh, that's something you dream about as a kid, scoring in the Stanley Cup playoffs. So uh, my kids will probably enjoy that one for sure. This has been a, a wild ride for you this whole season. Yeah. Just to how can I culminate? I've seen some games left, but to culminate with a moment like that right there. Yeah, I mean it's a good payoff. Um, I like to think I work hard, uh, especially when no one's watching. And then uh, when you get on the stage, hopefully you get a shot on net, and, and it goes in. So luckily it did. What do you think about the team effort tonight? Obviously you got a goal, loose mm -hmm. team. York, everyone up and down the line was contributing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to watch the highlights to see how that all, all <laughs> unfolded. Um, things happen pretty quick there, but um, obviously this time of year you need all 20 guys, and that's what we got. Can you just describe the feeling, like your first playoff was a huge <laughs> moment, kind of going nuts. Can you, yeah. can you remember like what's going through your mind? Or? Yeah, um, probably will remember it and not sleep tonight um phone might be going off a bit but uh yeah that one uh, i guess was for paris ontario where i'm from so hopefully they all saw it matthew's goal comes like 30 seconds after I and mean, that could have been a brand breaker mm -hmm. for you guys just for him to get that goal and the way he does it where it's just like kind of relentless around the net just I mean, every goal in that period yeah. is obviously important, but that one especially. Felt yeah, like. I mean, Chucky's uh, a big-time player, obviously. I don't want to throw the profanity in like Maurice didn't want to either, but he's a gamer. Um, that's what he's paid to do, and he does that. And just looking now, Game 7, obviously you guys have already clawed all the way back. A lot of pressure on Boston in their own mm -hmm. barn. You guys feel pretty loose here going into the final game? Yeah, I mean, obviously there's highs and lows um, within the series, within the games. So um, we'll enjoy it tonight, I guess, and then get back at uh, get back on the plane tomorrow and take care of business, hopefully. Were your sons here in attendance? No, no. No, they weren't. Uh, my wife hit me last night at 9 p.m. to get some plans to come here, but uh, it didn't unfold. But hopefully keep playing. They can come watch some more. We've been saying all year that this team is built for the playoffs mm -hmm. and worked through some stuff and everything. But to see you guys just push the Bruins <laughs> to, the, to the brink here, mm -hmm. I mean, it says a lot about this team as a whole, right? Yeah, I think we played playoff hockey. It was preached. Uh, I know it's a cliche, but the day one of training camp, it was the way we were going to play. So it's not like we had to get into the playoffs and play a different way. We've been playing that way from what I've seen the whole year. Thanks, Thank Three ones, now three three, heading back to Boston for Game Seven. Just what can you say about the resilience of this team, not only in tonight's game but in the series as a whole? Yeah, I mean, we we're ready for that. Like we we played playoff games for for a while since like uh, February or March. So we've been playing that type of game, uh, battling for our lives. So it was pretty much like nothing new to us. But obviously, it's different in playoffs. So, but. Yeah, we were, we had a lot of energy in these past two games, and that's how we played. You, Lusty, Dalpe, Ch Chucky, of course, so many guys had a hand in tonight's win. Just what can you say about the depth of this team? Because obviously that's what we talked about a lot for Boston, but you guys really showed yours tonight. Yeah, it's great. We have four really good lines. Everyone's rolling, everyone's playing, everyone's doing the right thing. So it's, it's fun to be a part of, that's for sure. Alexander, the momentum you guys have created here you took boston's best punch in boston game five today that third period was as, as good as they're they're going to play 
how much confidence, not only just winning the two games, but the way you guys won, how much confidence does that give you moving forward? Uh, of course, a lot. Every game we, we learn something new, and of course they learn too, but every every game we learn something new and learn how to, how to play better, how to do things better, and uh, yeah, of course there's going to be momentum swings in, in every game, so you've got to be ready for that and manage them as well as possible. You've been here a few years. Have you ever heard that arena that loud? Yeah, I couldn't couldn't really hear what what was going on in my head for the past like 20 minutes. So he was he was insane. He was awesome, awesome to be a part of. When Dalpi picked up that fourth goal, I mean, just his whole journey this season playing in Charlotte a lot, um, being an extra a lot, finally getting to the lineup the last couple of games. Just how big is it for him to get on the board? Yeah, he's one of those guys you you love to have as a teammate. He works really hard. I, I know he's been up and down pretty much whole year, uh, captain in AHL, uh, Charlotte. So of course he's 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 a leader. He's a on ice leader, off ice leader, and uh, no matter what team he, he's playing, he's doing the right thing every time he steps on the ice. Uh, <clears throat> supports guys no matter what. So he's one of those guys you're really happy happy for when whenever anything good happens to him. Barky. The- you guys, I think you guys started hearing criticism probably in November or December about a slow start and all that. It went bad a whole bunch of times. Why didn't this team quit? What was it about this room that said there was still the potential to be in this spot right now playing an ultimate game against the best team in regular season history? Yeah, it's just the thing we have going on in our team, the the chemistry, the the way we are with each other, uh, the way we come to the rink every day and uh, work as hard as possible to to be able to play on the best best level possible. I know we we had up and down season, but we finished the regular season really well on a good note, and we got ready for playoffs very well. And uh, now it's we're excited. We're excited to go to Boston and Game Seven. How are you feeling at this point, and how do you feel your game has progressed over the series? Uh, I know it's it's. Uh, all about the team game, so you don't, you don't really. Of course, you want to play as well as possible, and uh, there's, there's a lot of things I can be better at. But I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm feeling better, and I'm, I'm getting better. So that's, that's all that matters. And but the team game is number one. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Well. So much to talk about in this game individually, but just that third period in particular with the, all the back and forth right to the very end, yeah. just the resiliency of this team in such a game. Because the emotional swings get stronger and stronger as the series progresses. Um, but I didn't feel it on the bench. A part of it was we had a phenomenal crowd here tonight, right? I mean, they were electric from the start, and the players feed off that for sure. But... I just all I could say is I didn't feel it on the bench, right? There, there, there wasn't the. Certainly, there was excitement when we either tied it or got the lead. But um, well, the players, you know, go back to that game in Toronto. The players have kind of taken, in a lot of ways, have taken over the bench. It's their, their time, their leadership. And I thought I, that's what I felt on the bench. They were. I had no. At no point did I feel that they needed me to pump their tires during that game. They 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 handled all of it. Uh, the challenge was obviously a big moment in the game. Yeah. So it really looked really small, of course. Was there anyone in particular that spotted that, or was that that's, just a... that's John and Jimmy? Mm-hmm. Just what can you say we about to, that? Well, because I didn't have it on the bench, I don't have the views early enough. I've only got end zone in a far distance. I, all I can see is there might be. We get the call to the bench that it's. It's a hand pass, and it's tight, right? It's he, he caught that, so that's kind of the game, right? Zach Dalpy, big goal. Lusty, huge goal. Maybe some names that don't get talked about in the series, John Kajemi and Miles Fee back in the video room, but what, a, what an enormous impact they have. They called it. I, I didn't have it on the bench. We've talked all season about just the unwavering belief that you continue to have in this team. How was this game indicative of that belief and the belief that this team has in one another? Yeah. Kind of, for me, it started the first five days of training camp were brutal, hard. 
as hard as I've pushed a team, and they just survived it. They they just kept going, and that was like the the, the first sign to me that there was something here. Um, and then we had three, I think, really challenging pieces to our schedule with injuries and travel and, and the standings where we really got tested. And they handled it. So they've, well, the truest confidence is earned, right? It's not a guy pumping your tires. It's not a participation ribbon. It's, it's truly earned. So I think they carry some of that with them. It's hard to probably single out one goal in a period like that, but Matthews come in like 30 seconds after you guys yeah. gave up the shorthanded. You said the bench never kind of wavered. Could you just kind of like that 30 second span, obviously, things could have gone bad. That, the, that's, that's, the, that's the most challenging one. A shorthanded goal in a game that important, right, can cripple you. Um, if it was the first time we've seen Matthew do something like that, we would say, oh, what a, what a, what a great time to step up, except it's just almost routine for him. So he has the ability to stay focused in these games. He doesn't come out of them now. And I, I do think it's a significant maturation in his game over the course of the year. Just look at the penalty structure. You get into January, February, March, he stopped taking penalties. Kind of an ascension into that truly elite category of player, the importance of him. And then he just keeps reinforcing it in the playoffs. I mean, we, we talked about Matthew pretty much after every game. He right. does something crazy. I mean, how, how does he do it? I mean, he no composes idea. himself. Listen, if we knew, we'd all be doing it, right? I don't know what he's at, nine and a half. It'd be a good day for all of us. There, there's a level of... There are moments in my job where I am just truly a fan. So much of that happens in practice. We all see a level of elite. I used to see it kind of with Matt Sundin. You get through the neutral zone on a, on a transition drill. Blake Wheeler, turn a corner, and he'd go by you so fast that you're just kind of in awe of it. The hand skills that he has, the things that he does with the puck, you just it, I'm not saying it reduces you to a fan. I don't mean that's not the right word, but it brings you back to your fandom of the game of, oh, my God, these guys are good. Uh, pass your next goal. I mean, that's, that, this is a level of skill that's just off the charts, right? Like, I'm not saying I was cheering for the goal. I'm just saying, especially now, you can look back and go, oh, my God, these guys are good. They are, they are so good. And then uh, just to switch gears here, I was talking to Sam Reithart this morning, and he said the ability to kind of adjust from that frustration and grow from it was a big part of adjusting to the playoff game. And you see after game four where things kind of look bleak and there's frustration setting in, and you're able to kind of turn that frustration yeah. into the games you played in game five and game six. I mean, how were you guys able to do that? I think they're a smart group. The ability to learn under stress. It's the hardest thing to do is, is learn under stress. Um, but they have. So they've made adjustments in their game. You go back to game one, we had 36 really good minutes of it, but the rest cost us the game, right? So they learned and they've taken some of it out of their game. And I think our offensive zone's considerably better right now than it was at the start of this series. I promise you we're doing our best to stay out of the penalty box. I guarantee it. So there's still some learning that has to go through this. We have to go through. Um, Smart plays. Like that line tonight for me was the best line on the ice. Lusteran and Lundell and Reinhardt. Lusty was a fourth line center last year. Lundy's in the three hole with Rhino. There's some chemistry there. But the growth in those those two, especially their games, spectacular. So that learning's kind of gone on all year here. You, you've talked, and maybe I'm reading between the lines of keeping this series, the scores tight. And down and and, and and how am I doing? Well, well, I'm just curious. Is this the game, kind of game you didn't think you could win in this series? A, a, a seven a high scoring. Oh, I don't think either team started with it. That wasn't but okay. like it wasn't the game plan. I don't know. I don't know if I had an answer for it. We want to. I think I really liked our first period in in all six games. I've loved the way we started. And then this thing just morphs into its own animal, and you just got to deal with it after, right? And pucks were going in at both ends of the ice tonight. We've seen that this year, and we've seen really tight games. It would make Game 7 a more difficult game to predict, the style of game, 
more difficult to predict. Speaking of which, Game 7 coming quick now. What, what, what do you expect that, looking from here at that? I'm not, you know what, I'm not. I'm going to have a joy tonight. Enjoy that we, we just we really try to section our days. This is just about tonight. Tomorrow we'll go through the exact same routine we've gone every off day in our series, and then we'll get to Game Seven. And I want to enjoy it. I want to enjoy the hell out of it. It's the best part of the game when there's the most pressure on Game Seven, the obvious elimination game. Got to be able to enjoy it. You have to find a way to enjoy it. Coach, uh, with everything that was going on uh, tonight, which was a lot. Obviously, uh, how much did your belief in your group was, how high was it, and how do you evaluate the fact that it may have grown throughout this series? Well, the belief is there. We're a good team. Um, I, I don't know how to explain it any better. For me, there was a handoff, and it happened in the Toronto game to the players came back and won that game in overtime. The coaches, we, do, we have prep decisions to make, we have matchup decisions to make, and, and you run the bench. But in terms of, I wouldn't say necessarily even in between periods, because we have a role in how we want to frame our mindset. But on the bench during the game, the players are running the mindset. It's them. It's the leadership. It's, it's more than just you know, Barkov, Ekblad, who was really good tonight, uh, and Dechak. It's that kind of whole group. Everybody's got a piece. They're running the bench. Paul, after everything, this over here, right? Sorry. After everything this group has gone through, how much do you deserve a Game Seven? After everything that this team has had to fight through all year just to get in, yeah. how much did they earn this chance? I think Game Seven's fair, right? I mean, they deserve to win games in this series for sure. Right? It's, we haven't been dominant by any means. Don't expect to be in Game 7. But the learning experience, the pressure, and the joy of Game 7, I think they've earned. Kind of heart and uh, you know, the passion we have in this locker room. Um, down 3-1, there was not you know, a single doubt in this locker room. We, we believed that we can come back, and uh, now we did. Now we just got to finish the job. Obviously, it's, uh, it's going to be the toughest task here so far. And um, you know, We've had the Game 7 mentality for three games now, and um, you know, it's no different um, you know, coming in Sunday. So many heroes tonight, Chucky, Dalpy, Lusty, Barky, up and down the lineup. What kind of the team effort tonight? Everyone chipped in. Yeah, I mean, it just speaks to our depth in our lineup. And um, you know, I'm really happy for Dalps there to get one, one big one. And then obviously Lusty uh, to close it out there. But uh, I think it was a full team effort. Um, you know, all four lines were rolling, and um, you know, our, all our D and obviously Bobby made some key saves, and um, you know, we're looking for for that same effort from everyone. That, that, third, you know, period, that third period, pretty eventful. Just how would you summarize that final three? Yeah, that was uh, that was kind of crazy. To be honest, uh, you know, great atmosphere, and uh, you know, fans were in it, and um, you know, I think on the bench too, we've we've always had the belief, even though we were we were down a goal, um, you know, we, we kept our composure, and um, we just you know felt that you know this is our game, and um, you know, we, we showed that tonight. <laughs> like the pressure is going to be on Boston game seven in their city the fans will be antsy they might be gripping their sticks a little bit tighter do you feel like the loser team heading into game seven right now with, uh, with the momentum I mean pressure has been on them since the beginning so I mean for us uh, we want to keep going um, you know again I think we're, we're we, we believe in ourselves we believe in our team and um, you know all the pressures on them but for us again we got to keep playing the same way as we did and um, you know it's gonna be a it's gonna be a battle for you personally that seemed like one of your best games of the season. you were just flying out there did you feel a little bit different tonight like your skates are a little lighter on the ice or anything like that? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, when you're facing elimination, um, you, you obviously you have that extra step. And, you know, for us, uh, not only for myself, the whole team, we didn't want our, our season to end, especially in front of our fans. So, um, you know, like I said, we're, we're playing desperate hockey and it's fun to watch right now. You talk about the fans, what you about the atmosphere tonight, especially there at the end? Yeah, that was the loudest I've seen Cavs fans uh, since I've been here and since I've been in the league, to be honest. So that was crazy. I um, love seeing it and, uh, you know, a huge part of why, uh, you know, we kept that momentum the whole game. What was a, that was a slow roller at the end. What was like watching? That, like open run, go all the way in. Oh yeah, we actually knew it was going in as soon as it hit the bar there, and it was, it was a great bounce. And um, you know, he was a little bit hard on himself on, on the one goal, but you know, we, he just another another guy that you know kept in, kept his composure and um, you know got the job done. Thanks, dude.